Hi, it's David Co David Connolly here. Um, this is going to be a, quite a good video because even though it's kind of a short one, we really are going to be uh, taking off into a whole new world today because I'm going to show you how to call modules from other modules. Uh, this is really, really useful. In fact, I, I actually think that this is basically what HMVC is all about, you know. Uh, and once you've built websites this way, you'll be saying, well, why doesn't everybody do this kind of thing? So uh, I, I just thought I'd show you a couple of examples of the kind of situations where this would come in handy, and then we'll look at the code, okay? So here's my website here. Now imagine if uh, you'd built a site for someone and then they asked for this thing that you could just bolt on like this over here, right? Now with normal MVC, that could be a challenge. I mean, normal MVC, I don't even think you can call uh, controllers from view files and stuff. It would just be tricky, okay? Or here's a good example. Here's a weight loss website that I was working on at the, uh, a while ago. And late on in the project, the guy said, can you build a thing that calculates how much weight everyone in the club has lost it looks at the before weight, the after weight, or the current weight, does a calculation, adds it all up, and then right at the top of the site says, we've lost blah, 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 and it shows you the number. Now, had I been building an MVC, this would have been a complete nightmare. An HMVC, really easy. You just go to the template file, you go right in there, and you call the module that handles all that stuff. Folks, this is the fastest, easiest, most efficient, easiest programming method that I think there is. I'm absolutely sure of it. So that's the kind of situations where this will come in useful. Let's have a wee look at the code, shall we? So, so far we have this, um, whoops, uh, so far we have this uh, HMVC test thing, and in the last video we built some task stuff, remember that? We put it in the, the, the database. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to call things or to call other modules from within a module. So right now we're on the module called tasks, okay? You can see that. So let's just open up uh, NetBeans here, and I'll open up the tasks module. Here it is. So the, the funny thing, you know, about this, HMVC doesn't care if you call modules from controllers or from views. I'm going to uh, call a, another module, I think, from a view file. So I've just opened up the display uh, PHP file here. So this is a view file. And uh, I'm going to get it to call something from the no fun module, which is a completely different module, of course. Uh, but first, I suppose we better go into no fun and make something. So I'm going to go function. Um, I'll call this function, oh gee, function say hello. There we go. And when you run this, it says, hello, how do you do? Okay, very simple stuff. So this is in the no fun module, okay? You can handle that. Let's just make sure that that's working. So I'm heading on down to no fun, going to say hello, and there it is. Hello, how do you do? No surprises. Now imagine if I wanted to call that from the tasks view file, or this one which is called display. There's actually a couple of ways that you can do this. One way is you can just go, takes a couple of lines of code, but it's really easy. You just go this load module and then you put the name of the module in no fun and then you would just say this no fun say hello as easy as that now i'll put in a little horizontal line thing so you can see this so check it out and there you go you can see here it's calling the other module, and isn't that fantastic, Ola? Uh, there's a second way that you can do this, and the code is perfectly valid. There's nothing wrong with this. The other way that you can call modules is you can go echo. Uh, let me just get this right. Echo modules run, 
And then you put the module name in, so it would be, let me see, the module is no fun. And we do forward slash say hello. And that should do the same thing. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just going to save that, run it here. Okay, so you can see that it's uh, the same effect. It's uh, worked just fine, okay? Now, you can use whichever method you want. I'm just tidying up here. It's entirely up to you. With the second method, you actually don't need to load up the module. So if I take all of this stuff out for the moment, you'll see that this works perfectly and you can do it in just one line. On the other hand, sometimes I think this is a bit easier to read and it's kind of nice on the eye, so it's entirely up to you. Remember, you don't need to echo anything out. You can have a module that does a calculation or something. You can run that. That's perfectly fine. This is really good for security stuff, so you can, you know, add security code in and what have you. Fantastic for widgets. If you ever need to pass any variables, it's really easy. Uh, with the first method, you just go like this. Uh, actually, let's let's just pass a variable. Let's call, pass a variable called name. With the second method, you just go like this. Okay, so I'm going to do a little adjustment here. All right, and we're running. Oh, Jiminy! <laughs> No fun, name, what on earth have I done here? Display, 11. Oh yeah, of course, I forgot to declare what the name was. There we go. I'm in a bit of a stupid state today. Missing argument for say hello called on display line 14. Of course, I really am in a stupid state. Okay, here we go. So there we go. How do you do, David? C, C, C. Cool. So there we are. Two methods of calling modules. It is super, super cool. Now you can call modules, as I say, from view files or from controllers. The choice is yours. There's just one other thing I want to show you before I forget. Uh, there may be situations where you want to pass more than one variable. Uh, you know, and, and that's fine. So if I, I'll just show you how that works, okay? So we'll go to this say hello thing and I'll make it take on first name and last name, right? So now it's going to go like this. All right, so we're passing more than one variable. Uh, it's really, really straightforward. All we have to do, well, first of all, I'll just declare the variables, okay? All right, uh, so all we do, it's as easy as can be. Look, simple as that. You can add as many variables as you want in here. And with the other method, same vibe. Same vibe, really, really easy. And you, again, you can add as many variables as you, as you want. You, know, you get the idea. Okay, I'll just uh, do two this time. With a wee bit of luck, this should work. Isn't life wonderful? Let me. <laughs> uh, no fun, line 13. One moment. You know, I'm just getting plagued by typos. Anyway, here you go. So you can see, uh, silly typo aside, you can see that I'm now passing two variables. So it's really, really easy. I hope you'll agree.